Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can very quickly and easily hide your GUI or graphic user interface. Now there are basically two options how to go about it. First one is to kind of turn off the GUI completely and the second one is to basically turn off its preview. Now the old studio had the feature of turning off UI user interface visibility. That feature has been dismantled and taken out in the new next gen Roblox user interface. So how to go about it? Let's go first for just turning off or shutting down its preview, which you can do while you're working on your game. To do that in your viewport, the preview viewport here is called for me a tutorial level, but you have your own name. Click on this viewport options. And once you do, you'll have a drop down menu and you'll have your GUI. Maybe it's going to be open, maybe not. But the thing you want to turn off is the GUI overlay. Once you do that, immediately in your explorer, the starter GUI will be grayed out. So it won't be visible while you test out your game. But if you want to keep the GUI overlay preview in the visualization, tab or window active, you can also shut down your GUI elements hand by hand or by individual choice. To do that, simply open up your start GUI in your Explorer tab or Explorer window. And here I just won't have this start a local script. I simply need to find behavior right here at the bottom under properties and the enabled element by turning it off it won't show itself in the game. However, it won't be active either, while this option of viewport modification will simply not show it during the testing phase. That's it, pretty simple, pretty easy, very straightforward. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Again, it's suited for the next gen UI in Roblox Studio. And if it did, please consider supporting me through a range of means. You can check out my book on overcoming procrastination and you can buy it on Amazon. You can check out my channel memberships. They're right there below the video. You can send a super thanks if you just want to give me a thumbs up in a monetary sense. And of course, you can check out my Patreon page. All of those are in the space below my video, but of course the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to support me, just leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and be here for my new content. That's all for me. My name is Ivica. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Have loads of fun in your Roblox Studio adventures and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Until then, goodbye.